speaking of tough to figure out here, we're going to move into the Stanford Cardinal. And I don't know what is going on at Stanford. Like, they are still recruiting at a pretty decent pace, especially for Pac-12 standards. Like, it, this team, when I pull up this graphic, it's just, there's so much red. There's so much red, and red is not good on these graphics. Uh, their postgame win expectancy last year was 2.82 and 9.18. They were 3-9 and nine last year. And so, the postgame win expectancy was exactly what they were supposed to be. I guess one thing that you can look at as a positive sign is they have 79% of their production returning this year. That's number nine in the country. Offense, 88% production coming back. That's number four. The defense, 70%. Both the offense and the defense were pretty bad. Both of them really bad against the run. Um, the offense couldn't run the ball. Defense couldn't run or couldn't stop the run. Like, at number 115 in offensive PPA per drive, number 106 in defensive PPA per drive. Uh, I mean, you just look at all this. I mean, PPA margin, number 115. Net points per drive, number 108. Total plays per game, they were all the way down there at number 119, so they didn't even really take chances. Uh, turnover margin, number 124. And then, finally, like, penalties per game, okay, number 68. Like, that's not bad. Um, I just cannot figure out for the life of me uh, what they are doing here. Let, let's talk about the offense first. <sighs> offense coordinator Tavita Pritchard has been on staff since 2010. He's been the offense coordinator since 2018. Like, yes, you've got a lot of returning production here, 88%, in fact. But what does that mean for a team that was so bad? Like, just because you have players coming back does not mean immediate improvement. Like, if you bring back crap players, they're they're still likely going to be crap. So were these players crap, or was there something else going on? I understand, like, the wide receiver Higgins, etc., cetera, uh, McKee even, like, they all missed time with injuries at certain points last year, etc. There were There were a lot of injuries. I get that. Totally makes sense. But, I, I mean, they were so bad, and I cannot figure out how to, how to make them jump up, right? Uh, Tanner McKee returns. After they beat Oregon, they lost seven straight to end the year, and the offense had less than five yards per play in the last five games. And I understand McKee missed two of those. I got you. But even when he did play, like this offense was not good. Uh, what to know about the defense here? Like how long is Shaw going to stay loyal to the defense coordinator here, Lance Anderson? Like the defense gave up over 200 yards rushing in nine games last year. Uh, that's putrid. 5.74 yards per rush for the entire season. They gave up 33 rushing touchdowns. Like, this defensive line had talent. And now they lose two defensive ends, a defensive tackle, and two linebackers, etc. Like, this is rough. 106 in points per play allowed. Number 107 in total scoring opportunities. There were only 58 drives. Of, this is going back to the offense. I should have put this back up there. Um, on offense, they only had 58 drives that made it into the opponent's 40-yard line. I mean, it, it it just don't get any worse than this. Uh, you look at some of the top players that they got coming back. Uh, the linebacker, DeMooney, uh, the safety, Williamson. You got the cornerback, Kai Blue Kelly. Like, these are all pretty stud dudes. Wide receiver, Elijah Higgins. The left tackle, Rouse. The quarterback, McKee. Like, they have got players. I've got to know what's going on here. The efficiency is completely gone from David Shaw's program. I... I understand people wanting to be loyal to their assistants, but you got to change something. Like, something's got to change. Um, with that much talent, this team should never be as bad as they were last year. Fixing the turnover issue is probably going to help a lot uh, this year, but, I mean, you got to be able to run the ball and you got to be able to stop the run. Like, I've got them at 4-8 and eight because I, I want to believe that they will be better, but I didn't want to go too crazy. So, you know, a one-game improvement, yeah. Like, could I see this team getting to 6-6? Six and six? Maybe. But my gosh, I mean, you start out the season with Colgate, and, you know, that's an obvious win. But then you've got USC. Then you have a bye week. You have at Washington, at Oregon, Oregon State, at Notre Dame. Now, I've got a win over Oregon State here because I didn't want to believe that they would open up, you know, 1-5. But... 
after that, I mean, it doesn't exactly get a lot easier. You play at UCLA, Washington State, at Utah, at Cal, BYU. I mean, I if <laughs> this is what's so tricky about this. At Stanford, like you you already know that you haven't been very good for like the last what three years is somewhere around there. Like it's it, it, things have not been great. Why would you if you already schedule Notre Dame in the non conference every year, why would you ever add BYU? That just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, because I think that they're going to lose to BYU and Notre Dame this year. And then you've got that whole conference schedule where your road games are Washington, Oregon, uh, UCLA, Utah, and Cal. Like, I don't know that they're going to be favored in any of those. Like, this is just a a tough situation here for Stanford. I've got them at 4-8. and eight. Maybe they'll do better. Like, I like Stanford. I've been to Stanford. I, I want them to do well. I like David Shaw. Yeah, I mean, he's an old school kind of guy, but I don't see uh, I don't see a lot of great things coming on the horizon for the Cardinals. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.